I'm on a mission to visit all 92 English League clubs, all 42 Scottish League clubs, the 24 clubs in the National League, which used to be called the Conference, some international stadiums, Wembley, Hamden, etc. But I'm at Merthyr, Merthyr Tidfall, or Merthyr Town is what we're called now. So why am I here? Why am I at Merthyr? So I thought, I'm in the area, let's pop by, let's see what's going on with this club. They've always fascinated me. They are the only Welsh non-league club in the English pyramid system. Uh, they're a tier seven club in the pyramid system, the Southern Premier League. So I'm hoping to see a decent crowd tonight. I wanna see what these Welsh fans are about. <laughs> I need to correct myself from an earlier video. I did say that the other clubs in Wales, all the league clubs, i.e. Cardiff, Swansea, Newport, Wrexham, but obviously Wrexham are in fact a non-league club because they're currently in the National League. So I stand corrected, but obviously if you're watching this video next year, I'm sure by that point they would have been promoted to the Football League and they would then be a league club. So there are currently two non-league clubs in Wales, which are Murphys Tidfall and Wrexham. So this been a goal, only after four minutes. The goal is for Dorchester, so the score is Merthyr Town nil, Dorchester one, and the crowd has gone incredibly quiet. Very, very quiet ground here, nil one. So Merthyr just had a chance, the best of the game so far, just went wide, liven the crowd up a bit. Come to score, still Merthyr nil, Dorchester one. The weather is absolutely appalling, the weather is just Rain's lashing it down. It's really, really heavy rain. I suppose it's quite expected from when I come to Wales for a midweek game. We're playing on a 4G pitch, which is just as well, because if it's a grass pitch, I think this will now be a mud bath. But current score is still near one. So it's another goal, which is now currently Merthyr nil, Dorchester 2. Got to admit, Dorchester have been very dominant in this first 25 minutes of the game. I think Merthyr had one chance on memory. Dorchester has wave after wave of attacks. So they're cruising to half time, currently 2 0 up, and a pretty comfortable away victory, which is a surprise because they're both next to each other in the division. Merthyr will play three games less, only a point apart. But currently, Dodge start a very, very dominant. Nil two. Well, that was Murphy's best chance of the game so far. Just sort of fizzing past the crossbar. But currently still Merthyr nil, Dorchester two. And I would say the way Dorchester are playing, the plan is if they're top of the league. Sort of wave after wave of attacks. So a little bit disappointing about Merthyr, because I thought, you know, I was hoping to see a really good home performance to see a few goals at the home team. But currently it is still nil two. Oh. 
So the half time whistle just gone. The score is Martha Town nil, Dorchester two. Apart from two reasonable chances that Martha have had, Dorchester have been very, very dominant in this first half. Playing as if they're top of the league, as I said earlier. Um, so Murphy have got quite a lot to do in the second half to turn this round. They've got a very quiet, subdued home team. Second half just kicked off. Score is Merthyr Nil Dorchester 2. The rain is still coming down very heavily. Hopefully, hoping for at least one home goal. See what the crowd reacts like. But currently, still nil 2. The second half has started very much the same as the first half with Dorchester on the attack again. I mean, they're playing in yellow shirts and blue shorts, Dorchester. They look very much like Brazil. And at the moment, I think they're playing quite like Brazil, to be fair to them. So it's currently Murphy nil, Brazil 2. So the half hour gone, second half still. Merthyr nil, Dorchester two. I just can't see Merthyr scoring. They're just not in the game at all, really. Dorchester wave after wave of attacks. Disappointing. But I'd like to see a home, a home, at least one home goal. But as it stands at the moment, I think it's nailed on for a Dorchester win. But currently, it's still Merthyr nil, Dorchester. Two. Murphy just had their closest chance. I've just hit the crossbar. <laughs> it still hasn't gone in. I just don't think they're going to score tonight at all. It feels like they're going to you know, play for the next five hours and they're not going to score. But I've just hit the crossbar, but it is still Murphy and the old Dorchester team. So Dorchester have just scored a third goal, so the score is now Merthyr Town nil, Dorchester three. And to be perfectly fair, the goal has been coming for some time. It really has not been Merthyr's night tonight. It feels like they could have played for the next five hours and they just would never have scored this evening. Not been their night. But score here is Merthyr nil, Dorchester three. another goal it is now Merthyr 1 Dorchester 3 so I'll take back I think I just said what do I know about football Merthyr well, finally scored but it's a little bit too late because I think we've got like one minute left but Merthyr 1 Dorchester 3 final score Merthyr Town 1 Dorchester Town 3 so it's full time here the final score is Merthyr Town 1 Dorchester 3 it was very one sided the goal that Merthyr got at the end was you know just a Consolation goal, but very well done to Dorchester, who were very dominant pretty much for the whole game. Just a quick note on the ground. Obviously, you've got terrace into three sides and the main stand, which has seats. But you know, if they must draw a big team at home in the FA Cup, like a Carnival or a Swansea or Newport, I mean, this place would be absolutely jammed to the rafters. 